Hi, Scott Croft here with Boat US, and today we're going to talk about ethanol fuel and winterization. You know, a lot of parts of the country are just starting to use E10, or ethanol-laden fuel, at their marinas. Today we have some tips, largely learned from some Midwest marina owners, on how to use E10 fuel and how to store it over the winter in your boat. Let's take a look. Come on. You see, E10 fuel really isn't bad, but the problem over winter, over time really, is that it can phase separate. When that happens, you end up with some funky solutions in your gas tank, some low octane gas and this ethanol and water solution. Eventually, you could even have a third solution, a bunch of water at the bottom of the tank. Of course, ingesting any of these solutions in your engines is gonna cause some big problems. Let's go back to the boat. First thing you wanna do, top off the fuel tank. By topping off the fuel tank, or basically almost full, but just not quite, it prevents moisture or humid air from coming into the tank over the winter from fluctuating temperatures. You have a hot day, a cold day, a hot day, a cold day, all that moisture can get into the tank if it's half full or less than a quarter full. In fact, marina owners in the Midwest say, never leave a tank less than half full or a quarter full. You'll have problems with phase separation over the winter months. A special note about storing boats in racks over the winter and topping off your fuel tank. Definitely leave a little bit of room in there because most marina contracts say you, the boat owner, are responsible for damage over the winter. And if there is a little bit of fuel that comes out of that fuel vent over the winter and spills down to another vessel, you could be in trouble. Here's what I'm talking about. This is a fuel vent for a fuel tank. On this boat, it's on the side. Some boats, it's in the back. You'll have to check out where yours is. By limiting the amount of moist air over time that goes in and out of this vent, basically by keeping the tank so full there's no room for it, it'll prevent phase separation from occurring over time. Here's a special note for fishermen. You also want to make sure that your fuel tanks stay full between outings. That'll prevent condensation as well from entering the tank and the start of phase separation. Now, some folks have suggested draining the fuel tank over the winter to completely eliminate the chance of phase separation occurring. Frankly, it's a little impractical and it could be dangerous, so Boat US and Midwest Marine owners don't recommend draining the fuel tank. It's practically impossible to do anyway with a built-in fuel tank like this one. Of course, it's also very important to add a stabilizer to your fuel at the beginning of the winter layup period. But remember, once phase separation occurs, that's it, kaput. The only way to remedy the problem is to have a professional drain that water and fuel mixture out of your tank and start fresh. Stabilizers at that point won't help. Here's a special note for those with fiberglass fuel tanks. E10 can eat or degrade that fiberglass in some fiberglass fuel tanks, usually older tanks. So you may want to check with your manufacturer to ensure that your fiberglass fuel tank is compatible with the use of E10. Let it breathe. We're back at my buddy, the fuel vent here. Now, we know that ethanol attracts moisture but one thing you want to do is you never, ever want to plug up one of these little guys over the winter. You still need to allow for that contraction and expansion of the fuel inside the tank. You plug this little guy up, boom, rupture your fuel system and you could have fuel inside the boat, maybe cause a fire. Here's some tips for portable fuel tanks. Now, if the fuel inside does not have the oil added to it yet, simply pour that into your car, safely of course, and burn it up that fall. However, if you do have to store a portable fuel tank over the winter, make sure that it's away from any ignition source. Uh, some Boat US tests have found that fuel does permeate through some polyethylene fuel tanks. And you also want to make sure you store that fuel tank away from an ignition source and out of the sun. Well, if there's one good thing about E10 and winter storage is that come springtime you have a full gas tank at last year's gas prices. So enjoy your winter, have a great spring, and if you need more information, go to BoatUS.com. Bye baby, see you in the spring.